hook nose and ugly and... That's the only stereotype today. You went to the other side. A cliche, but it's a useful one. They say, here's the villain. I go, why? Well, doesn't he look like a villain? He looks awful, right? It's like, look, uh, you know, you know, uh, you know hook nose and ugly and dresses in black. And it's like, what does he do that makes him a villain? It's like, oh, he's just the bad guy. And a lot of people forget that you need a sequence that says he's the bad guy because he does bad things, you know? That's why, how many times have you seen this sequence in a, in a movie where there's the mob, the head of the mob or the gangster or whatever, who gets a phone call and uh, he goes, oh, we'll get rid of him, and he kills his own guy. I mean, how many times have you seen that? Like hundreds of times? So yeah, it's a bad uh, cliche, but it's a useful one. Like if, the, if it, that's the best you can do, at least do that. At least say, if he's, what that's supposed to say to us, if he's able to do that to one of his own people, what would he not do to our main character, right? So that's the whole point of that. Now that's the bad version of it. Obviously don't do it ever, don't do that. The cliches work, but then you have to, if you want to be more original, find the storytelling point that makes the same point without being the same thing. Because you can almost tell everything that's going to happen after you've seen enough movies, you go, I'll bet. Uh, have you noticed that 90% of the time you have a hooded character, like a character whose face you cannot see, it's a woman? Have you noticed that? Almost every single time you got, it's a woman, you know, and you'll be wrong only one time out of 10. And these people think they're being smart. And you're going, no, man, you doing, you went to the other side. How many times do you have a female character in an animated movie who is um, independent, strong woman, who does not need a prince to save her? I mean, is that, that's the only stereotype today. There's the only character you do now, which to me is just as bad as the princess. It's because it's also a flat character. It, and you don't want, I want to have a female character who's just as emotionally complex as a male character. Uh, sexist would be not doing that. Sexist would be saying, oh, let's do the safe role model that everybody's gonna accept and then nobody's gonna yell at me because I'm just, I mean, it's, it's, it's just a safe route that you can go to and it's safe and it's easy, but then as a storyteller, it really limits you. It's like uh, today you couldn't do a character like Dory from Nemo. Like if you pitch that today, <laughs> holy moly. So, so she has a, uh, she's funny, she has like a five second memory and she keeps messing everything. I was like, no, no you <laughs> cannot do that. No, it's impossible, not today. But, but that's actually one of my favorite female characters because it's just super entertaining and charming. You know?